What up boys and welcome back to your favorite series on my channel, Lockbox Opening. So, it's getting out of hand. I'm uh, getting more lockboxes than I could possibly open up with the current rate that I'm going at, which was like one set of full bags of boxes, uh, like 130, 140 boxes or something like that. So, uh, I decided to double up. So now we're going to open up well close to like 300 lockboxes, uh, at a time. I even had to make like a, a separate tune, uh, it's called Stud Boxes Original, I know. And this guy is like, I think he's, yeah, he, he, he's pretty stacked when it comes to uh, lock boxes. So, uh, we're gonna start. And, uh, 300-ish boxes, opening up Loot Appraiser as we always do. And, um, uh, then you guessed it. All I can do is pretty much open up these, uh, these lock boxes. Having a strange lag right now, as you guys can see, like it's going slowly. At least we get to see uh, all the items that we get out of the boxes. That's really strange. No lag in game, but opening the boxes have never been slower, man. And uh, I'm not gonna mention the uh, add on scrap that I used to mark in vendor items with because the entire comment section thinks that I'm sponsored by scrap. Like they make any money uh, with add-ons, but I'm not. It's just that when I recorded those videos, I probably had like three, four thousand boxes at that time laying around on my tunes, and I just recorded like a bunch of openings. And I mentioned, I said the same thing about scrap in every single video, because every video that I don't mention it, there's all but always somebody uh, asking. And here we go. It's the first issue. My bags are now currently full, and I actually messed up my scrap uh, by um, uh, resetting all my settings. So I pretty much have to mark all these items uh, all over again. It's also, I usually do it on purpose every now and then, like a couple of times during an expansion, because items, they change. Like I might put an item marked as scrap as junk because... Uh, it has a market value of like 15,000 gold, but a my realm is going for 250 gold and the sell rate is not that impressive. So I um, I decided to uh, not sell it, I just mark it as scrap. But uh, then a couple of months down the line, half a year maybe, it might be worth uh, a lot more gold. So instead of going through uh, all the marked items, I find it easier to just uh, reset all my scrap settings and then starting from scratch. Nothing really good so far. We're at 28,000 gold market value. Oh god. This is really slow. Come on. Now we're picking up the pace, man. Maybe everyone is logged on to enjoy the 100% uh, experience in Cruise Weekend. Still... Nothing cool though. And something that I don't mention a lot because the add-on is uh, not enabled on other tunes anymore. Is you guys can see like the orange X and the uh, blue check mark and so on. And it's uh, like a collection add-on. Pretty much if it has the, the blue check mark, it means that I've added the items uh, to my, uh, my wardrobe. And if it has the orange X on it, it means that it's not added to the wardrobe. Pretty much. And um, also means that this tune, which is a priest, so uh, it's, it's cloth items or weapons that a priest can wield. If it's just the yellow star, like this one, half a yellow star, it means that I haven't added the item, but I can't add it to the wardrobe on this tune, because it's like mail or plate or a weapon type that I can equip. Great add-on. It's called Can I Mog It? So far, though... Nothing special, and uh, the reason why I have so many lockboxes is because I don't do a lot of material farming anymore. I uh, have enough gold. I'm really comfortable with the amount of gold that I have for a long time. So uh, ooh, those are pretty nice. This one, the Warbear Harness, 4.4k gold in my realm. Ooh, 8.5k, it's a 10,000 gold item in my realm. Now we're talking... 
so yeah, I do a lot of dungeons and a lot of uh, open world farms with like a five man group where we kill pretty much thousands and thousands of mobs per hour. So we do get a lot of boxes. We do. Some farms give you like way above 10 boxes. And I do like uh, three farms uh, daily, the, the days that I stream, four days a week. So 12 farms, and if I average, uh, I don't get 10 boxes every single time, but if I average like eight, we're looking at 100 boxes a week easily, sometimes more. Not that many items to keep so far though. Have I need to kind of go through the items this time around. And um, so far from what I've seen, it's been the, uh, the two patterns that's been worth keeping. Nothing really cool transmog wise. I see there's a lot of uh, classic lockboxes, and those are my favorite lockboxes, the classic ones like TBC, Rat of Lich King. I do mostly uh, classic farms, like the old vanilla farms from the 60s, so it makes sense that I have most of those lockboxes as well. And those are the ones that can contain good recipes and good transmog, the majority of it. TBC boxes can be nice. But the transmog sucks, so you pretty much got to be lucky with like an epic uh, plan or pattern or something like that. Come on. And anything above a kata is, uh, well, kata and above is pretty bad. Decent amount of raw gold, but all the items that you get is just purely trash. But still, nothing really cool. We'll go like mm, 15,000 gold in those two, if we're lucky. 120,000 gold market value. And the people that do all the things are going to rage at me for vendoring these items that I haven't added to the wardrobe yet. <laughs> I can't be ours. I don't collect transmog. Ooh, that's another item. It's a 9k more. That's a 50,000 gold market value. I've sold so many of those. They drop like all the time when you do like RFD. Well, they drop in uh, more than just RFD. It's like, it's a pattern that drops from uh, many of my favorite Transmo dungeons to do. So I've received it so many times. And the problem is, so does other people because they uh, they drop from popular uh, dungeons. That's why the value is just going down and down. Let's see though. It wasn't too bad. If you guys have watched a lot of these openings, uh, you know how they usually end up. Like sometimes I'm extremely lucky, but the majority of the time when I open up like uh, this amount of bags, there's only a couple of items worth keeping, and sometimes it's it, it's not even 10k total. So if we're gonna go through these items and market, I'm just looking at it super fast. Some of you guys should post the uh, some of these items that I'm marking. It's just that I got above um, way above 2,000 transport items. So I'm way more selective with the items than uh, you guys probably should be. Because you probably don't have anywhere near the amount of auctions that I have. So uh, you want to get more auctions up on the auction house. Because let's face it, everything sells eventually. It might take you weeks, might take you months, sometimes even years. But everything sells eventually. And if you're just starting out with this transmog stuff... You want to pump the auction house fill, like, filled with mocks. I'm not saying you should post bad transmog, by no means. I even made a separate video uh, talking about which items you should put up on the auction house and which ones you should vendor. But if I started from scratch on a new realm, I would have posted a lot of these items that I'm now marking as scrap. Not a lot of them though, because this was a bad haul. It really was. There's not that many interesting items. Usually there's a couple of items where I'm on the edge, like should I post it, should I just scrap it? But this was pretty clear to me. A lot of dog shit items. That was the 50% uh, of the bag still. Not bad at all. So far, considering we're only halfway through, it wasn't bad. Everything is moving slowly though. I'm going to try to uh, go on to add-ons and I'm going to see. I don't really need, like, well, actually, I do need this. Can I mock it? It's the one that I don't need, I guess. The rest of it. 
I don't. I'm not sure if that's gonna do anything about it though. Or if my computer is just about to explode, but it was really slow. I spent like almost 10 minutes opening up the first uh, 140-ish boxes. Let's see if can I mog it. What's the issue? Might have been. Nah, it's slow. Look at how slow it renders. Shit realm, man. Should have done this in a Goldshire. But then again, I played an RP realm, and there's a lot of erotic roleplay. It's now 11 p.m. It's getting dangerously close to uh, after hours in Goldshire, so that will be slow as well. And it wouldn't be uh, YouTube friendly. This add-on is supposed to make it faster. As you guys can see, the items are marked with the gold coin. And in theory, I only have to click this one, and it automatically vendors 12 items. I don't have to spam it like I'm doing, like clicking at this one time and it's gonna do it but it usually goes in the blink of an eye this is really slow let me see i forgot to mark this one probably because i had it twice okay come on oh good boy then we just gotta send off this one is uh, not opened it's kind of annoying Probably fucked up because first I gotta send these boxes to my rogue and uh, open it up, and then I gotta send it to uh, to this guy. There we go. And then we're just gonna take out more lock boxes, and hopefully this clean out is gonna be uh, just as good. All right, so then we're finally back. God, that took ages, man. Uh, we're gonna start the opening. Might have to vendor really fast on this one, so that there's not that much space. But as you can see, the uh, the opening of the boxes is still slow. I picked the worst timing to record this video on ever. A Friday evening. The uh, coronavirus is uh, everywhere. People are in quarantine, they're home, they're playing WoW. 100% experience increased. Probably brought back a lot of people. And the entire realm is just slow. It's slow. It really is. But now we're here. Only these boxes left. A couple of millions to be made. And then we're good. Now if only we could get something of interest to make it all worthwhile. That sucks. It's a classic item that could be good on other realms. I uh, also post auctions on... Uh, on other realms, not only this realm, and a lot of the items, uh, both crafted and items that I've farmed in the past, are selling for so much more gold. I mean, there's still high pop, like full pop realms, the other realms that I'm playing on as well, but they're just way better, man. Way better. But then again, I sell a lot of transport in this realm. It just doesn't sell that much gold. And if you've been, uh, if you've been doing both, if you've been selling few amounts of auctions, but for a lot of gold. And if you've sold a lot of auctions, but for less gold, uh, I'm willing to bet that 99% of you guys are going to go with option uh, B, sell a lot of auctions, but for less gold. It's just, it feels better when you see a lot of sales and uh, it gives you like kind of this motivation to keep on going. So I strongly suggest that if you find yourself in a position uh, where you don't sell transmog, and the reason is not because you only have like 500 transmog items, uh, you actually do have a good auction house. But the reason is you're playing on a medium or a low pop realm, then I would I would just transfer ASAP. Even if you're considering to make gold on transmog and you don't play on a full pop realm, switch. Do it. You're not going to regret it, especially in these times. It's different when a... A new expansion is out and there's a lot of people being active playing buying but right now that's not the case and uh good transferring items is uh isn't the case either i'm just getting dog shit come on give me a break not a single item that i want to keep on this one so far what if i oh a large green sack just what I was aiming for. It would be typical if I opened up these 300 lock boxes and uh, I only made like, how much was it again? 22,000 gold? That would be bad. That would be bad. I see a lot of people have uh, 
have started to do the same thing as me, open up lockboxes, but they buy lockboxes, 100 gold each, which isn't bad, but you, like, if I bought the last 140 lockboxes, 100 gold each, uh, 14,000 gold, I would have made a profit, you usually do, like, the average value of a uh, lockbox is way higher than 100 gold, even if you, like, just post absolutely everything that you get, and you get, like, a couple of hundred gold, uh, like, a lot of these items would sell for a, a couple of hundred golds, right, it's just not worth it for me, because the sell rate is bad, but if you're buying lockboxes, you, ooh, I know that stuff, I've sold a lot of that stuff, finally an item worth keeping, but yeah, if you're buying lockboxes, you want to post more items to make it worth it. So, uh, pro tip, if you have a lot of time on your hands, you like open up lockboxes like me, spam trade chat. Just like wanting to buy all lockboxes, 100 gold each, COD. And you'll make gold. Definitely. All you need is that one good item and uh, it's going to pay for thousands of boxes. Very much like this one, like that staff alone. Well, it's only 4,000 gold in my own 40 boxes. Come on. Holy shit, this is... Sl I know I've said that a billion times, that's slow. But it's, it's really slow. Hmm. Bad. 25 gold transmog weapons. 20 gold. Yep, 12 gold. Better and better. That's not good either. So I have a few boxes left. And as we all know, I still remember that time when I opened up 140 boxes. It was the worst opening so far. And the last box that I opened up had the star belt and I sold it for 112,000 gold. The next day. Uh, that was the day, man. Those were times. Come on. Slowpoke. Okay, not that many left now. And there's still hope. 82 gold. 10 gold in my realm. 122. Nobody is stupid enough to post these, man. Like, you're gonna lose gold on these items. Many of these items, you're gonna lose gold if you post them. That's probably not the case on your realm, though. It's 12 gold for that belt. God. Maybe I do have to change realm. This is bad. 23 gold gun. No. 25. Huh. Sucks. Not good enough considering it's a pair of bracers. It's uh, not worth posting. There's a lot of not worth posting for anybody. Not only me. Like, nobody should post these items. Holy shit. Another backpack. This might go into the history of the worst boxes ever, man. The average value on these 300 boxes is dog shit. That is probably gonna end up being like... I had 22k last time. 26k. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, going to be like right below 100 gold in value of each box on this one. Unless I pull a fucking magical rabbit out of one of these boxes now. It's going to suck big time. Large, yeah, nice. Mmm, beautiful. Oh god. Five boxes left. Five Beautiful boxes left. Mm, five gold. Hallelujah. Mm, great. Fuck me sideways with a stick. Well, that was it. <laughs> I want to. I sell a lot of these uh, hibernal robes. So uh, from this one, I'm gonna sell these two items, and that is it. So yeah, that was it for the opening. It was the slow, it was a really long video. I'm gonna make sure that I uh, do the next opening when it's 
Well, I'm probably going to go into the bush, dude, and open it up at 4 a.m. when nobody's playing so we can actually go fast. But as of now, that was the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see all of you guys back in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.